All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have this Discord comment, this Discord question from a great user, Oblique, and he asks, Hey, Mike, are we at the point where I can talk to Vault Architect and it can move my files around or follow rules to move files with a certain tag to a certain folder? And the answer to this is yes. So obviously I'm posting this specific video within the Discord, so most likely you have the plugin already. So obviously you're going to want to open up your system sculpt chat and I'm going to show you exactly this example uh, in real time. So obviously you're going to want to toggle on agent mode. So that's this little brain icon here. Click that, boop, you get this little uh, vault agent mode notice. You click I understand once you've read it. And now let's take a look at our properties. So, um, Maybe what we can do is find, let's see, I didn't really think this part through, um, product, or actually substack, perfect. Okay, so we have a substack uh, property, and I'm going to ask, uh, okay, uh, find all notes with the substack property, please. And now it's going to go ahead and do exactly that. So before, the way that it would try to do this, it would it would use grep and it would just kind of grep across your entire vault, which of course grep, if you're familiar with it, is very fast, but um, not as fast as just straight up searching through metadata. So boom, look how fast I was. I'm, I'm talking and it's already done. So let's take a look at what it did here so it says listing notes i've got a request to find all notes yada yada it looks like i should check the front matter cool and it did exactly this right so here we have um the tool call it searched for it it's uh it did properties as substack and it found um i believe two files right yeah total found two so really informative uh tool calling for the ai agent and so if we close all of these it you know ended its response with, hey, I found two notes, and these are them. And so it does look like they are kind of duplicates because I have a Zettelkasten legacy and a regular Zettelkasten file. So I'm going to actually tell it, uh, hey, can you check if these two are duplicates? I just want to make sure. And so, again, instead of me going and finding these files. And maybe you might be thinking, you know what, that's just two files. I could just open them up and check them out, right? What if this was like 10 files, right? Or 20 or 30 or 50 files that were potentially mixed assortments of duplicates, right? Uh, maybe you have a really disorganized vault and you've kind of copied and pasted things over so many times, you don't really know which one's which, which one's the latest version of something, right? So this agent is able to help you with that. So right now it's reading those two files and now it's kind of reasoning through. And so the final answer it tells me is they are identical, same front matter and body. You can safely trash the legacy copy. Very cool. Okay. And so to answer your other question regarding, you know, can we, um, you know, move it into a new directory, right? So uh, I'm going to say, okay, trash the duplicate, then move the other one into a new directory called um, what should we call it? Uh, substacks. In our uh, vault main dir, right, directory. And hopefully it does exactly what I just told it to. Um, again, this is just a very simple example, but I mean, you can just think about all of the intricacies of what this allows you to do. So, okay, it's asking us to confirm, okay, trash files. It's trying to trash a file, so we should always check those. This is the correct one to trash. It's the one in the le uh, legacy Zettelkasse. So I'm going to approve that. And so it did move one items to trash. It's very good. Now, if we look here, look, check that out. It says substack one. There's only one match for that. And now it's trying to move this file into destination substack. Let's see if that works because this, I don't think it's, we don't have a directory uh, for that yet. So hopefully it works. Let's see. Did it work? Um, error. Yeah. So it did hit an error because that directory doesn't exist yet. Let's see if it auto corrects here. So it's reasoning. Okay. Fingers crossed. It's listing out the directories. That's a good sign. So it's basically saying, huh? Okay. I guess this directory doesn't exist. Let me double check. And so it's doing that. 
Let's see what the next little cool thing is. Boom, there we go, create directories. So we didn't even have to mention to it that, hey, you should probably create a directory here. Now, one way we could have circumvented this or not had this happen in the first place is if we included our vault structure. So that's even more impressive, right? Because it did all of this without, and now, you know, while I'm talking, let's move that item because now the directory exists. Let's click approve, boom. Let's see if it was successful, success, true. Let's see, substacks, boom, directory, there it is. And so it ended its uh, response, it said, okay, so the duplicate was trash and then we moved the surviving note. I love that uh, wording there. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Very, very flawless experience. I love the back and forth. This is only going to get better. I mean, come on. If you come across absolutely any issues, let me know immediately, no matter what you're trying to do with your vault. I want to make this the perfect tool for maneuvering and just having an actual intelligent assistant be with you there every step of the way in your vault. Thank you so much for watching.